The reason he used prophets and forces is because we kind of ask him to. Even if you asked him to, what? just the fact that he does, I mean, what would I say? And God can't be powerful or any kind or be any kind of force. Yeah. Why does he need forces and prophets if he's all powerful or just, you know, powerful at all? Um, you know, I didn't even ask for a reason. I just said, I'm, I'm criticizing him. This is a criticism, not a question. A God can't be powerful or be any kind of force if he relies on prophecies or needs forces while using his own, using you guys to do his shit for him. Does that sound like a very powerful God to you? So you're just excusing him. The reason he used prophets and pro forces is because we ask it. It doesn't fucking matter. Why do you, why do you, uh, why do you ask him to? Why would you need to ask him if he's powerful? Why the fuck do you need prophets and forces if God is powerful? You, sound, you make it sound like this is a va or common sense or a valid excuse. Historically, before Jesus, Mo Moses, Muhammad, or any other great prophets, the gods worked much more. Why does God need to work? What? You're not saying anything. You're completely tap dancing around what I fucking said. God can't be powerful or any kind of force if he relies on prophecies or needs forces. Does that sound like powerful to you? I am somewhat strange Christian. You're all some you're you're all deluded and deranged Christians. Highly. This is a fucking understatement. It's in, it's it's inaccurate. Since I believe scripturally there are other gods. So you're just uh, esoteric then. But you're, all, you're still deluded and deranged. And dishonest. As, a, as I just explained. But we have asked him many times not to smite people. Who are you to ask him of anything? Hmm? Isn't God the uh, judge, uh, jury, and whatever? The ultimate, the only valid authority or whatever you guys always say? Who the fuck are you going to ask him of anything? This goes for prayer. Doesn't God have the plan and often works mysteriously? Doesn't he provide the uh, prophets and forces, whatever the fuck? Who the hell are you to ask? Ask God not to smite people. I mean, what the fuck? A lot of people... Uh, uh, does every Christian ask him this? Oh, it's God's plan. He works mysteriously. He works for... He uses people. But then you say this, but we have asked him many times not to smite people. What the fuck is that? Would he smite people if he was fucking... Well, you guys always also say that God is good. But here you are asking him not to uh, smite people. What the fuck? So which fucking is it? Instead, he expects us to, as a, expects us as followers to do a certain level of maintenance. Why the fuck does any maintenance need to be done? Why do you want to? You're, again, you're, you're ignoring the fact that I said, you know, God can't be powerful. That's the key word right here. Powerful. He wouldn't need anything. Nothing would ever need to be done. And, uh, you know, I could say that uh, while we're... God made us mortal and vulnerable, to which you guys would say, well, that's our fault. Well, then, God has nothing to do with anything. You just, uh, you've just removed them from the ex existential equation. I can never say those two words right in the first try. Fuck. He ex yeah, okay. Um, the world he gives us. How is this world acceptable? This world is a motherfucking insult. That's stupid. 
the world he gives us. How is this world good? How is this world acceptable to you? Unfortunately or un Unfortunately or fortunately for most of us, God no longer directly acts. What do you need to? What? And honestly, the other gods preferred weapons are just too powerful. What the fuck are you talking about? Destroying entire cities for the abuse of two prophets. Huh? <laughs> You're insane. 